Crisis Core event is coming, we get to fight Bahamut Fury from Crisis Core, Gravity is getting nerfed and they're explaining why we're getting more frequent lag. So that, the patch is just out, the developer letter is just out and we're gonna cover it on this video. So let's go. In case you want to check out the patch note all by yourself, link in the description below or in the comment section. So first of all, this uh, Ichikawa stated there will be a stable improvement. Overall, the patch note and every update they have, they have patched, they mentioned that there's a reduction of 16% in the total number of crashes, but according to all my friends right there, iOS is getting more crashes and Android is not getting crashes, but rather FPS drop. They mentioned they reduced the loading speed, asset and other stress memory, increased frequency of removal of unnecessary data. However, uh, apparently to me, I am getting more FPS drop on squad and now even solo. Solo never lag, but right now solo is lagging for me. Now next off, we are having a crisis core update and this is going to kill me because I'm finally getting to fight AC Bahamut. Again, oh wait, it's not AC. It's very Bahamut from Crisis Core. My bad for tax right there. But it's gonna happen from 16th of March till the end of March. Now, they mentioned that they want to do this in a boss raid battle kind of style. That's why it's gonna be harder for both solo and squad. And uh, there's gonna be a different way of fighting it. So, because the normal Bahamut was too easy, they wanted to make the Crisis Core Bahamut, Bahamut Fury, a lot more harder. A crisis score Bahama will be dropping uh, during the event. There will be rewards. Uh, there will be badge to anyone who can kill a. Uh, what? Why do I text the wrong thing? Anyway, free Bahama. There will be tickets and guild and more. Like your daily quests and stuff like that. Like the integrate. We're gonna have something very similar to that where the tickets is gonna be for gacha. And the next thing we're gonna talk about is the gacha. All right. Crisis Core, Zack Fair, I am done. I am so done. My, my question is whether there will be a pity system. And how many legendary areas? There is Tifar, there is Zack Fair. Now I just want Zack Fair. It might be the normal uh, like Crisis Core skin, but I want it. Like I, 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 I put everything uh, AC. I'm so sorry. It's Crisis Core, Zack Fair, Tifar, Lockhart. There's gonna be banner and weapon, but they never mentioned there's gonna be guarantee or not. But of course, just like every other event, we're gonna have daily lock in game, which is gonna give us a couple of tickets to pull. I don't know if I wanna pull it. I'm, I don't know, it's Crisis Core, it's just your regular first class soldier outfit, do I want it, and do you just wear it? Uh, most people on the first class wear it, I think Zack Fair and NG, only, we only see the, both of them. Anyways, moving on, we have the stats, they mentioned that uh, Dragoon has drastically increased, that's because it's new after Season 2, but the problem is, War is still meta, followed by Ninja, uh, Ranger, Monk, Sorcerer, Ninja, Sorcerer, Ranger, Monk. Monk is the last, well, after the buff, I honestly think that the Flying Kick is actually very good now. Material Possession, Fire is still first, followed by Blizzard, Cure, Thunder, Gravity, I don't see, uh, they mentioned they're gonna nerf Gravity, we'll get to that later, and you can see on the screen, I'm not gonna talk so much about this, this is more to a personal playstyle, and they talk about the cost of Qs, and also the cost of damage, you can also check that out in the official website. Balance Adjustment, they're gonna buff Dragoons, the jump attack, which is a dive bomb attack, they, they call it the dive bomb attack, it's gonna have a AoE increase because it's very hard to hit. Able to turn when gliding as well, they're gonna you know improve the gliding, and Dragon Ire, can be seen by marked person now. So uh, the person that's marked, they get in the oh wait, I, I, I know this guy have dragon arrow, so that I'm, I'm gonna get a mana, mana depletion. And uh, following on, it's about the Infernal Cannon, the Kamehameha gun. Laser damage increase, tar charge time decrease, ammo is gonna increase from 200 to 300, and laser work even with 10 ammo left. Flat drawer, which is a flame drawer. If you use the flame drawer, you can uh, stop people from doing melee, stop people from using material or even skill or getting away. So they're gonna increase the distance now, increase the range. All right. So gravity, uh, they they mentioned they're gonna nerf this in the future more, but right now they're gonna decrease the the, the, the slowdown speed. When you're inside gravity, they're not gonna be that slow. All right. And uh, moving on, we have Bomb Launcher, uh, they mentioned they're gonna man uh, nerf this during last season and they said they're gonna reduce the hit rate between shots, so there's a chance that you won't be able to ping pong people now. Okay, uh, Bahamut, so they said that they want to increase Bahamut to make him stronger to actually feel like you're using a boss. Now the dive bomb speed increased, the dive bomb which is the one that you crash down, and the Umbra Inferno Cannon, uh, I, I don't know, Umbra Inferno AoE, and they're gonna buff the AoE and hit rate, I, I forgot what move is that. And then uh, Chocobo, okay, a lot of things about Chocobo, uh, they mentioned there's gonna be a motion after kick, after kicking, and you can't get off Chocobo immediately after kicking, and there's gonna be a, some sort of like a battle stance for kicking. I, I try to cut off everything as much as possible. And then uh, you're gonna have a stamina depletment if you're taking damage now, and they are gonna nerf the damage against player, and then buff the damage against monster. 
Coming down, we have weapon swapping. Now, in case you don't know, people in the JP or even in the uh, mostly in the JP, there's uh, the meta where chocobo, uh, chocobo, blah. They, they mentioned the shotgun after swap. They're gonna swap the next shotgun, the second weapon. So there's gonna be a slight delay after you swapping the weapon before you can shoot again, which I think they don't want this to be a shotgun soldier game. <laughs> And uh, last but not least, they mentioned on the next update, it's going to be on 31st March, end of the month, and they're going to make stronger Bahamut for players to use, and they're going to nerf gravity and increase ranger control. I'm not sure what specific, but you can read the pension all by yourself. I'm giving you the more detailed form to actually save your time and stuff like that, but I'm definitely hyping about the Crisis Core skin. Um, I really, really want to cosplay Zach Fair. Yeah, well, we're playing Final Fantasy 7 Battle Royale cosplay or whatever. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I will make a giveaway video explaining how to do a giveaway that I'll be giving in the next videos because I think this video might wind up taking too much time. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll make that video maybe tomorrow or today in a later uh, in a later time. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Massive Pendulum here. And I truly appreciate all of your support. Hey, it's this game channel.